ACC Network and also available on the ESPN app. Armstrong to the end zone. Poljan is open. He gets hit right at the goal line. Football is out. Let's see what they rule. They may rule it incomplete. There's a flag on the play, too, Chris. Might be something with targeting the way he dropped that flag. Go. He came in and hit Poljan, who I thought was going to waltz into the end zone. Dislodge the football, so they're going to be looking at a lot of things here. We're going to get word on the flag, and then we're going to see if that was indeed a catch and a fumble. A lot of things for the Boy, eyes of the defense. Yeah, right. a lot of things for the defense. You had big Lavelle out there, spread out wide. Lavelle Davis. Everybody's looking at him. What does he do? He does a clear out route, and you've got the tight end coming right behind him. It was a great job, great play call, getting all the eyes and intention. Off of your big tight end there. It's going to be interesting to see the call, Chris. Paul Jan, the big tight end, transferred from Central Michigan. Actually began his career as a quarterback. Going on the field is an incomplete pass. During the play, there was a personal foul targeting wow. defense number 12. That play is under further review. Character guilty of the target. Let's take a look. You see it here, so he's a defenseless player. That, that's the biggest thing here. Obvious contact to the head. Right. Now that looks to me like shoulder to chest and right. Is he a defenseless player if he's... See, I, that to me looks like he caught the football and he made a football move. To yeah, me. pass catchers, man, are just so protected in this day and age of the game. Can I think see? this is a catch and a football move, though. Catch, football move to turn to the goal line, and then he gets hit. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. This is probably the best angle, wouldn't you think? Yeah. I think he's got he's trying to gather himself. It, it looks to me just like momentum. It doesn't look like a a planned uh, kind of movement. You know what I'm saying? Where mm -hmm. the ball was going, that's where he was going. That's a tough play there. And obviously, just the, from the reaction from Poljan there, clearly he gets rocked. Oh, it's a tough call. You, you hate to see these things where it's so close, and now a player potentially being ejected from the game. Marlon character is the player they're uh, reviewing the call against. Young man from Atlanta, Georgia. There's are two coaches on the left. He's a big play early on in this game, still in the first quarter. Had to be without one of your top players in the secondary the rest of the way. Poljan shaking up a little bit on that play. He's being looked at by this Virginia staff. So they're reviewing both the targeting call and whether it was a catch or not. So both in play. It'll Obviously, be interesting the to targeting see. call stands. Yeah. Right. Are, are they going to give him that football move? Are they going to say he made a conscious decision to make that upfield move? And to me, it just looked like, you know, it wasn't enough for me to be a football play. If it was a fumble, it was recovered by Jack Fago of the Louisville Cardinals. So it would be Cardinals ball at about the one-yard line. And again, so close, it, it's hard to say if, if he actually made contact with his head, if he brushed against it. It's going to be great to see what the referees come up with. Let's hear from Jeff Ezer. After further review, the receiver did catch the ball and fumbled it, recovered by Louisville. The ball be placed at the three-yard line. There is no foul for targeting. First down. Louisville. They reverse both calls. They reverse the targeting call, and they reverse the original incomplete pass and ruled this a catch and a fumble. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen them reverse that much on a play. To me, it looks like he gets hit in the head there. It looked like he, uh, you know, thrusted his body forward. But, hey, great on them to watch him again, making the correct call. You see the back judge coming right in and ruling it incomplete and then throwing the flag. 
Turnover belt from Marlon Character forces the fumble, gets to stay in the game. And Louisville creates the turnover to get the football right back. And to stymie a good Virginia drive. Let's see what Cunningham can do here as we get.